everybody and welcome back to that CBD show here on WeBeam TV. I'm Christy Burkhead and with me is Drew Burkhead, my partner. Today we are going to talk a little bit about the endocannabinoid system and weight loss and obesity. So we're we're going to we're going to talk a little bit about it something we're just learning about because our our company has introduced a new booster that's called Ultra Burn um, that is somewhat of a a, a weight loss product, if you will, and so it sort of pushed us into discovering a little bit more about how the ECS affects our weight and our metabolism. Yeah, so no pun intended, we're going to try to take a bite out of this. <laughs> yeah. We've yeah. been learning quite a bit. Um, we're about, learning along with you today. Yeah, with the ECS system and actually how, it, how the diet impacts that and vice versa and how that interacts, so um, we're going to do our best. Um, what's taking us there is this uh, a new product that was introduced by uh, Zelise. Right. And it is called Ultra Burn. Ultra Burn. And um, so when this product was first coming out, we uh, we didn't know what was coming our way. We had heard, we heard through the grapevine that there was something coming our way that was a product that was all the same philosophies of, of the plants working with the endocannabinoid system, but was designed right. specifically for, um, in my mind, was fat burn, okay? So, um, and, and honestly, I mean, not everything that you get exposed to in life you're going to just be warm to right away right. when you get exposed <laughs> to it. Yeah. And some things you're going to ultimately warm up to, and other things just you're just not going to include in your, in your buffet of choices. So right. the reason I say that is when I first saw uh, Ultra Burn coming our way and was thinking fat burner, I wasn't really that excited about it. I'm not really into fat burners. I think of like just caffeine or something that's just going to make me jittery mess or with just your mess with metabolism your metabolism and, 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 right. and work with that. And, and so, um, yeah. you know, I just didn't know what to expect. Right. But um, we, ha we have been, uh, you know, shown this product. It's now been presented to us. And so we've been digging into it. And it's really opened up for us a new, a new journey of, okay, so how does the ECS system work with weight control or, you know, appetite control, appetite and all of those things. And so we are not going to profess that we have conquered all of this information on this show. We just, and we struggled with this, honestly, before we got started that, where are we going to take this on this, this time? And, and so we just decided we were going to, um, Go ahead and take a stab at this. Yeah, to just take a stab at it and see if if we could all learn something together and and you know and and go through this research because there seems to be a lot of it and and there's you know a, a from down to little specific things to just broad broad topics. So it's uh, it's it's a lot and um, so hopefully we'll be able to pass on some information and and learn this all together. Yeah. So for deer and headlights, that's the reason why. <laughs> um, uh, you know, for me, it's about the endocannabinoid system. We talk about CBD on this show a lot. Obviously, it's called the CBD show. <laughs> but the endocannabinoid system, that's really wh <laughs> what where we need to be putting our learning and attention to me. Once we understand that, then we understand why we're talking about all of these things. Now, you can get in a car, and most people do, and just turn the ignition on and go. And you don't know all the mechanisms that are happening under the hood. And quite frankly, you don't have don't to. Care. That's <laughs> progress. You can right. now move on and do other things with your life. You don't have to invent the engine. But sometimes it's good, especially when it comes to our body, to stop and understand what some of that engine is. Mm -hmm. I think we should probably preface this with... Uh, talk with your dietitian and talk with your um, medical advisors, you know, if you're working Absolutely. on your diet, working on yourself. But hopefully even just a little bit of this today 
helps you to go back to whom you're working with and some of your own research and, and say, well, how does the endocannabinoid system fit into what we're working with with my diet and right. with my diet controls? So um, there was a little bit of news I just wanted to add really yeah. quick. The FDA, um, leader of the FDA, Scott Got Gottlieb, he's resigning. And, yeah. Yeah, and he was... Um, uh, big in anti-tobacco. Uh, that's one of the big things when you pull him up and what his background was. Of course, did a lot of other things, but he's resigning. The only reason I bring that up is because CBD and is is just in the news, and some of the regulations and things about that that are going to be coming through the year are going to be, uh, uh, you know, the FDA is going to be tapping that, you right. know, involved in that. So he had just made the first. Uh, public announcement and discussion and words about CBD just recently, like within the last couple of weeks. Right. And now he's resigning. So there's <laughs> always change, you know, always. there. And, and that's the, the little bit of news. And we don't, have a, we don't have a new I, I don't director know. I yet. don't know. No, I'm not completely tracking that. Okay. It's just something that, you know, there's a little bit of shakeup. But that's it. That's all the, okay. the, the news to, to clear out. So we wanted to get started. And so diet and all that, what makes a, a good, well, what makes a, uh, a balanced life is, is, is your food intake, exercise, all of those things. So it's all the holistic Sleep, view. rest, Sleep, yeah. laughter. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, mood, all those things, mm -hmm. uh, you know, all that makes a, a good balanced life, but life. So it's not just one silver bullet, we call it, but diet's certainly one part of that. Okay. So, mm -hmm. and the, the, the people that are behind this ultra, um, uh, burn product, Let's just mention them briefly. Uh, these couple of gentlemen here, and there's more involved, but um, Dr. Derek De Silva, he's a doctor's doctor. Uh, he's a founding president of the Nutraceutical American, Association. American, right. Nutraceuticals. Yeah, so he trains doctors all over the world, and he knows this stuff. And so he's behind all the, the formulations, of, um, most of the formulations we talk about. So, um, you know, he talks about a balanced life and, and all things, you know. Yeah, very, very much so. He talks about what you're putting in your mouth on a daily basis and yeah. your sleep. and Yeah, yeah. and then Dr. Matt Andrews. Um, he's works in Indiana. He's with, um, in Bloomington, and right. uh, he's just very well known for working with people and helping people on a daily basis. I think he's a functional medicine MD. Works a I lot believe. with diet and right. works a lot. And and he has had he has done everything in the book. He'll say his words. I've done everything in the book for patients, and I run out of things to do. And I don't know what to do. When he became aware of the endocannabinoid system what it meant, it opened up a whole new world for him. And he has really jumped into this and has worked worked with and alongside Dr. Derek De Silva on these types of formulations because now it has opened up um, understanding and opened up new tools and vehicles for him to help people that are dealing with weight control issues or issues uh, maybe in their life. And so this product that we're talking about is a result of their work in minds. And I just wanted people to know that as well because... Yeah, that's important. Yeah, you know, you want to know who's behind this and what the purpose and is. Yeah, so. and everyone can, can look these guys up on their own. They're both real interesting, um, smart, great teachers, and uh, there's a lot of video and things there from is, them yeah. on, online that, that you can watch and, and learn about them. They're great. Yeah, Dr. Yeah. Silva practices now. He's in New Jersey, and you can find him. On, he has his own um, radio show every week, and uh, you can catch him there. You can catch past recordings, and you can catch him live every week. He's on Facebook. Week. He does that radio show. Yeah, so um, very accessible, and he's working with people on a daily basis with hormones and balance and you know all of these things. anti aging He's not easy. Things. I mean, you got when you work with him, you got to. There's certain things you have to do, and if you don't do those things, you're, you're not going to work with right. him. You know? So <laughs> yeah. there's definitely, it's not just one thing. Don't expect to come in and get some fix. And I think that's the same thing we're trying to kind of paint the picture with with this product. Right. But let's just maybe just jump right into it. And the okay. ECS system. The reason that it's so important, I'll just pull a couple of things, and I like to pull some things from scientific journals. It's, it's and so good. Yeah. I, I don't want to get us in the weeds with that, but um, I've pulled some things from from PubMed. Um, I'm going to throw out some big words. Cannabimimetic phytochemicals. So, can, Ooh, good uh, for you. Yeah, cannabimimetic phytochemicals in the diet, an evolutionary <sighs> link to food selection and metabolic stress adaptation. So this is something from Pub PubMed that's opening up this discussion and opening up some of the research that says the endocannabinoid system that is a major lipid signaling system uh, in, uh, in the body, uh, can cannabinoid receptors and hominids, so it's been in our, our body all the way along. Right. Um, in, in hominids has co-evolved with our diet. So we've had this balancing system of the endocannabinoid system. Right. It, it, it had to balance 
what our diet was a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago, more. Right. Which was different, but it was had kind of you know evolved along the way and knew what the food supply was and was balancing that along the way. So fast forward, all of a sudden, we have the technolo the, the the advancements, very rapid advancements in human development. Our food supply changes, everything changes. Processed foods. Our animals aren't eating the same things the animals we were eating. Right? Yeah. So okay. those systems, all of a sudden, that were used to what they were getting in our food supply, they aren't getting that anymore and it's saying hey <laughs> what about me I, I i don't evolve as quickly as you you're changing everything in the food supply so that's what's kind of happening and that's okay. why the ecs and food supply and evolution and, and things start to wrap in and become important and start to percolate to the top here like why are we talking about it what the importance is right of it. so okay. there's a potential role of dietary cannabimetic phytochemicals which are the 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 elements of the plant let's call it that okay okay uh, so in in this section here, these um, what it talks about is that the um, these CB receptors and these uh, receptors in the body of this ECS system, they are they can be enhanced and and impacted and and, and affected by uh, what you're eating. Okay, okay. and they can um, by understanding how they're impacted, they can affect um, metabolic. Um, activity in the body, and they can also affect things like inflammation and such in the body. Okay. Okay. And food is able to modulate these receptors in the body. All right. And so they can activate them, and thus they play a role in how we're digesting and consuming our new Western diet. And, and metabolizing things into energy or storing or them storing where possibly we wouldn't have or in storing the past. fat or what it's this balancing system it's trying to regulate the food supply that's coming in which you start to bring in hormones and insulin and all these things that are way above me again yeah, insulin, not trying to insulin's a big one right yeah so insulin regulation again just bringing awareness to you all that the endocannabinoid system is something that is bringing balance into the body and it's also impacted by the food that you're intaking okay so when you can understand what you're intaking and speak to that right and balance that then now sure. you have a chance to start to understand maybe there's a way that I can, through my diet, help balance my ECS system and bring balance to, to okay. myself and maybe get that. Ultimately, what are you looking for? The conditions or the feeling or th that you want, okay. want to have. And there's some more uh, studies about that, that these uh, CB2 receptors um, are definitely uh, integral and impact um, reducing body weight and in, in obesity. So there are some things here. And there was some research done on this JWH015 That's chemical. That's a chemical, right? It's a yeah. chemical that would shut down um, and work with some of the receptors in the body. The problem is it's a chemical. and it, So it's synthetic? It's, it's a Schedule II uh, and, and a chemical here in, in China. It's actually illegal. And, right. But the only reason I bring this up and I'm going to stop there is that um, the, the, this chemical was shown to actually work with the system and, and create some, you know, shut off some of these receptors and actually change some of the metabolic activity in the okay. case studies. All right. So, basis done. Uh huh. Okay. Right. Understood. All right. Yeah. At least. I think so. So with this product here, this Ultra Burn, it's again, this is the one that's really causing us to have these conversations. Right. It's causing us to have this dialogue. So what is the purpose of this product? Um, okay. This product was designed to convert sugar into energy, okay, versus converting it into fat. So what's inside of it is working with the endocannabinoid system okay. to keep sugar from being stored as fat, okay? Converting it into in energy. Safely increasing the metabolism, not just stimulating it or maybe being some over-the-counter type of a fat burner that's, you know, just trying to get your heart rate Heart rate up and, or, yeah. right, yeah, and just make you just falsely burn energy, give you fake energy. Yeah, and, and we were talking crash. with John earlier, and the problems with that are that there, you know, you need things that are sustainable. You want things that bring balance or sustainable with your system. So that's what this is. This, these products are designed for everything we talk about. And here's all plant-based. Right. They all, you know, designed to be something from earth that we're really missing in our food supply. Okay. Missing in our food supply that's supposed to bring us balance. So okay. um, natural portion control. 
Um, we don't have experience with this product, but I know you were looking at some testimonials. Yeah, I, and because it, it's so early, we don't even have it in our hands. We don't yet. even have it yet, so I, yeah. I, I have not any personal experience with it at all. But um, some folks in in our organization and some customers have been able to get their hands on it in the initial release that was this weekend, and just. In, in that amount of time, so it, you know, a few days, I started reading some things that people were posting. And what I'm hearing from them is generally, um, for example, this, this one, I can tell when I take it, my appetite is definitely lower, my focus is on food much less, and I have more energy. Um, I'm, I'm seeing people <clears throat> say things like, um, one, one girl talks about, you know, she's taking it a couple times a day, it's recommended to take, I think, three times a day. No more, no, no well, more than three. It's no more than three times right. a day in the dosage of this. So Right, so yeah. she's taking it a couple of times a day, and she's saying, you know, just in four days, um, that she's now been able to ignore the Girl Scout cookies, not snack at all between meals, and eat a little bit less in her meals, not focused on food at all. Okay. And and she's talking about that it, typically she has a lot of sugar cravings, and the Girl Scout cookies are in the cabinet, and she hasn't touched them and hasn't wanted to. Somehow those found her, their way to our house. Uh, so we, yes, it wasn't me. <laughs> I promise. It, it wasn't me. Yeah, you no, know they're I, wonderful, I but the they did find. <laughs> yeah, we yeah we. We have I a teenager them, that brings worry. it. Yeah, yeah. He made him disappear for yeah. me. So these things that I'm I'm reading, and also it's so overall oh, on on let's say the ten or, or fifteen uh, little testimonials, people talking about it just in their first four or five days of taking it, is that they're getting full quicker, they have more energy, they find themselves less focused on food, and they are, in fact, losing weight. Now, in just a few days, we all know that that's probably not fat loss necessarily at, at first. It's probably some some water, and some, but it but it very well could yeah, be. And they're, I, you know, they're talking about losing anywhere from two to five pounds in the first four or five days taking this. So that's, you know, that's now, pretty in the incredible. Spectrum, we don't know who the subjects are. We don't no, know what their beginning is, weight was. And we we don't have, I don't yeah. have any idea if we're talking about, you know, super obese people or, or but good initial to, results. Yeah, but, least. but definitely. So, uh, you know, I think one what, thing about these types of pro mental. products, I'm sorry, I did not mean no, to speak to you, is just that they're natural, they're, they're, they're natural products. So what's happening is not something that's a chemical reaction. That's just ripping fat off somebody. This is, these are this, right. what's in here. We'll, we'll get into it, uh, but this is designed to speak to that ECS again, plant-based that you would be taking. Right. taking or should be getting in your diet. Right, and I, I do believe that everyone that that I have seen on here is also, again, taking this Ultra Burn in addition to being on a regular daily dose of the Full Spectrum Hemp Ultra Cell product. Yeah. Um, so uh, that's, from what I can tell, everyone that, that I've read these testimonials on and people that are talking about their results so far, they are also taking the the hemp oil with it. So I, you know, I don't know that for sure, but it seems to be the case. Um, okay. But uh, you know, but there are several of them talk about less stress eating. So um, I have a couple of people here that say that they were really under a lot of stress and were e eating St constantly with stress. Yeah. And that adding the burn has really helped that the stress eating is over. They're just not doing that. They don't feel the need to do that. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, just that is incredible because it's probably reducing some cortisol levels and some other things as well at, at the same time with the with the CBD. So stress that's pretty exciting. Stress is the silent killer. Yeah. And, and Dr. Matt Andrew will go back to that. So it's, a, it's a silent killer and that's something that mood in that part of it that you don't see that's causing those actions. And you know, if you can have something that speaks to that inside of your diet regimen as well. And in fact, that's built into this product. And, mm -hmm. and another thing is that Dr. De Silva talks about ad adaptogens. And adaptogens are something that improve the body in a natural way, but they must have three critical things. One, they have to allow the body to balance. Two, they are non-toxic. And three, they are fast acting. So this product is, is, fits all three categories of, of an adaptogen. Okay. Also, the full spectrum hemp does. Yeah, okay. as well, right. And that fast acting circles back to the absorption technology that the company puts into all of these products. So by the time everything is in here, then they're putting on the ultra, ultra cell absorption technology, which takes um, 
components that maybe would have only been a fraction of, 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 uh, of or one or two or three or ten percent absorbable, whatever it might be, depending upon the plant product, turns that into a highly absorbable product, like in our hemp example, getting up to 94 percent absorption, because again, it's not what you take, it's what you absorb. What you absorb. So you can have whatever, Crucial. you know, you're, that you're taking, but if you're not, it's not actually getting into your system, what's the point? There's a lot of things out there in the count, in, in the in the on the counters and in the um, aisleways that just you can take, but it's just not necessarily not necessarily going to get into your system. Right. Yeah. And I yeah. I think you know with this something that that I really like the idea of. I've of course you said you you don't really like fat burners. I've taken them periodically through the years to just improve or speed up shredding or something that I might want to do. And what I've always noticed with them is that it's, again, it's like the energy drink. It's a, 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 I can feel it. I can absolutely feel it. And I love the way it feels. My heart rate goes up. I have more energy, but I also in three or four hours am really tired. And then I want to eat more. My, my body's craving carbs or other things. And okay. what I'm reading about this so far and the way that, that this works, that is not the case because it's natural and it's plant-based and it's not giving you something fake. It's actually going in and, and balancing some things out. So, you know, that's super interesting. What it has in it is chromium, um, garcinia, cambogia, uh, okay. phenyl Thalamine, uh, <laughs> phenylethylamine, I'm going to get that right. Phenylethylamine. Yeah, Phen thank you. Caffeine and cinnamon. Okay, and I just right. wanted to Love scale through cinnamon. that. And then it has another uh, mim mimetics blend of, of um, uh, plant-based products that are uh, in there as a baseline, and we'll get to those in a second. But let's just kind of touch on what's in there and why. So chromium is a mineral. Right. All right. So mm -hmm. chromium sure. is a mineral that should be in our diet, and it's not. Okay. Uh, the so oh. Our soil is robbed of it. All right. Okay. It's, it's very important. It's... Um, uh, going to definitely play a, a major role in metabolism. Okay. Okay. You got to um, be sure that there's um, all the right uh, dosing of this stuff. I mean, you can take too, you can not get anything, but you could also get too much of stuff. Okay. So they're, but they're very much on top of this. There's very low doses of what they're putting in here. At these, these, these combinations of things are very low doses. So you're not going to be overdosing on anything in here. They're low doses mixed correctly. And then added with that absorption science. So uh, chromium, okay. essential trace element, small amounts of it are necessary for human health. Okay. There's uh -huh. a couple of different kinds of it. Uh, trivalent chromium is the one that you want to have. Of course, that's what's in here. Um, it's responsible for raising good cholesterol. Uh, been pointed to uh, things such as um, um, assisting with binge eating disorders, that kind of thing. Oh. Now, do your own research. There's a lot out there. I mean, there's always more research to be had. There's someone that'll say, well, it may look like this, but don't say too much because we need to do more work on it. But mm -hmm. definitely it's something that um, um, what I can see is important, critical to, to the diet, Right. Um, this chromium. So that is in there. Um, and so, yep, and we talked about the, the cholesterol side of it. So the Garcinia cambogia, this one's kind of interesting. Um, so I'm not familiar with this, but there's a picture of there what it looks like. It's like kind of like a small pumpkin, okay. apparently, uh -huh. uh, what it looks like. So it's, and what's in there, it's actually uh, in the peel of that is, is what's important. Oh, it's okay. a, yeah, hydroxy citric acid, okay? And so it shuts um, storage of fat down. And it, uh, the other interesting thing about this as you start to look into it is it promotes um, very um, good gut flora. Okay. Right. I remember hearing them talk about that. Yeah. And so really you would think with the fat burner, well, I just want the thing that, that's maybe increasing my metabolism. Well, <laughs> again, the design behind this was let's work on that, what's going to stimulate and work with the ECS. So that good gut flora, what it's doing is there's a lot of um, CBD, CB receptor activity in the gut and in the intestines. So when that's, that's working and activating right, it's also helping that ECS system balance for the gut. Okay. And if anybody's done any looking into the body, the gut and the brain and that way that that communication happens, there's more than just the mind thinking. You know, the gut is definitely, people say, man, I can feel it in my, in my, gut. my gut. Well, you, right, can you can because there's a, definitely a nervous nerve transaction that's taking place there that's critical. I've even heard that, that that's considered its own mind. It, you right. Know, yeah, because the, uh, you do. You so, feel emotion there. You, you feel things there. So, yeah. Yeah. So, Absolutely. <laughs> that's a whole nother um, yeah. you know, Pandora box to yeah. open there. <laughs> right. but, uh, so, it's got that in there. And so, um, next is, is that it's got um, this green coffee. 
So what green coffee is, is that basically it's the bean before it's processed. Before it's processed, right. Yeah, so, um, so it helps the body not rob its own energy sources, mm -hmm. all right? So um, the green coffee uh, extract is in there. And then we have... Um, cinnamon, right? Cinnamon is one of the major components. We have this phenylethylamine that's in there. That's mood support. Now, that going, that's going back to that, um, you know, people can be doing great on their diet, but then all of a sudden something mentally uh, happens, and so they just have uh, a little bit of a... a Lapse. Of a, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they, you know, eat the ice cream and do that. So this mm -hmm. is in there to help with that mood support. So instead of falling back on something like chocolate, which uh, has, would have that in that's there. The, yeah, comfort for, makes you, know, you feel better. Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. um, that, that's the reason for that, to help balance that mood and keep you stable, right. you know, through this whole process. Okay. Um, so it doesn't necessarily fit the endocannabinoid system, but it modulates the receptors for the proper uh, function okay. of it. Okay. And then we do have a little bit of caffeine in there. Just a little bit. Um, Mayo Clinic says that it's, up, it's safe to consume up to 400 milligrams of caffeine a day. Uh, I did the math. That's basically four eight-ounce cups of coffee. Um, there's just a f you know, fraction of caffeine that's in here. And really what it is in there for is more to... Um, uh, help the other components that are in there working and indeed. help you absorb it. I think uh, caffeine helps with a little absorption of yeah, things. yeah. Cinnamon extract. Uh, this is Wonderful. one that Doctor, you know, Doctor Silva um, loves to speak about, and and, and you know, for for many uh, reasons, it's an extremely important uh, compound. And Doctor um, Andrew will talk about um, some of the new drugs that are coming out um, are mimicking. That they're for diet control are mimicking what cinnamon cinnamon does. Cinnamon I, I does. put it in my coffee. I I love it. Yeah, it's uh, there's something very important called a GLP-1 um, molecule in the body, and and cinnamon is uh, uh, directly tied to raising that. So oh. it's impacting insulin and appetite. You okay. know. Yeah. yeah. So so extremely important. And then on top of that, there's the mimetics blend. Then and the mimetics blend is is the base of. The, the product. So and this is the, the base of all the boosters, correct? The base of all the boosters, right. yeah. This being one of the, the uh, booster uh, as well. So green, that includes green tea leaf extract, hops flower, mm -hmm. turmeric, ginger root, and echinacea. So the full spectrum hemp oil that will do everything that the mimetics blend um, does uh, right. on its own. So you're getting that, but each one of these does its own individual types okay. of. of um, of uh, you know important things inside the body, okay. so very interesting. And then it, it all is. boils back to absorption. Yeah. And this is one of those studies there um, up on the screen that shows you know what it's like when you apply science to nature, yep. and you take this stuff and now make it bioavailable in your body. Yeah. So that's so, that's uh, you know that's our first pass at, at, at um, you know lots of research to be done. Everybody, yeah. I would encourage you all to do your own research on CBD, the endocannabinoid system, and weight loss and obesity. It's fascinating. We've just gotten started started. We'll speak to it, I'm sure, again on another program. But for today, we'll that's all the time we have. Yeah. So thanks for joining us today. And we'll see you next time on That CBD Show.